So hello participants, uh, I welcome you in the fourth session of this uh, online FDP on writing web dev and quality research papers. And today we are going to talk about the how to write an abstract and literature review. So it's a fully uh, dedicated session uh, as far as the research is concerned, because in the morning session, we talk about the how to write an research paper title and the references. This session, we talk about the abstract and literature review. Please be ready with your notebook, notepad, and note down some of the points. I may be fast in this session because I have to cover two more important topics, which is one is the abstract, and another is the literature review. So please be ready with me, okay? So I'm sharing a screen meanwhile. Vikas, do not mute me. Who is muting? Do not mute all, okay? At least you can keep me free in this. Otherwise, how I will discuss, okay? Because name is reflecting anyway. So guys, uh, let's talk about the abstract. Please be ready with your pen and pencil. Type in the chat window, if possible, you can type in the chat window. I'm making the full screen. Yes. So I formally welcome you guys in the fourth session of this FDP program. And in this session, we talk about the two important aspect of the research is one is the abstract, another is uh, literature review, okay? So let's start. So you can say, um, many people say scientific abstract in the professional world, if you go abroad, you will if you should talk in that way, right? Scientific abstract. People, they not call it as a uh, abstract, but they call it as a scientific abstract. But in India, uh, because of cultural effect, because of uh, basic you know, understanding, uh, people say that it's abstract. So I've written both of these, uh, you know, topics, how to write an abstract, how to write uh, scientific abstracts. So let's talk about, let's understand in the, in the depth, what is this abstract, how it can be written, what is the art, what is being expected in abstract, okay? So guys, uh, this is my uh, presentation overview. Uh, purposes and use of abstracts, type of abstracts, common error we generally do, we researchers do. Uh, the fourth is uh, writing and writing processes. What is the process? How we can come up? How we can integrate my content with my research dialogue? So there are different aspects that we need to look at very judiciously as far as uh, this abstract phenomena is concerned, isn't it? Because abstract is also a part, just like a title that people would love to read. People should read to understand the basic genesis of the research. So that is the fourth point, writing in the writing process. So please be with me. And the last one is special consideration for presentations, meeting posters, because in posters, in flyers, in infographics, abstract is necessary. So don't be confused with abstract of the paper with the posters abstract. You may be presenting, you, you might have done, you know, some poster presentation. Even I was a lucky one. I still remember I got the Indian Science Congress Award also, best Indian Science Congress poster presentation award, uh, you know, 19 years ago, 19 years ago, so that you can see. 19 or 18, it's a, it's a rough estimate, but uh, you know, uh, so that is the idea because, and that was my first, uh, you know, uh, poster presentation award. First means I applied in the first poster and I got the award of national level award with some citations, some, some, you know, a financial, you know, financial, you know. So Anup Singh, please uh, stop your video. 
Anup Singh, please stop your video. Anup Singh, yeah. Please uh, maintain the decorum of the you know online classes, guys. I request all of you. So guys, overview of the abstract writing is uh, very much easy and essential. It is required by the people. It is not like that, okay, someone asks you, okay, write an abstract and you are written. If you are a, a professional uh, writer and a researcher, you can do this. Purpose, types, common errors, writing style, writing process, and some special consideration to this. So this is the, the flow of the presentation, which we are going to take one by one, right? So the abstract is, uh, it, we know that it should be a best part of the paper, right? Because with the abstract, only the readers, not only the readers, but the editors, your reviewers would take interest into your paper. It means they decide that, okay, whether this paper is exciting, whether I should go with it. Because abstract is a very small section of the paper, which should come at the first after the title, right? Then you decide that, the readers decide that, what is this abstract and what is the, so that's why it is the best part of the paper, okay? It is the most frequent read part of an article after the title. So at times we have seen that, you know, uh, people have not gone through the title, people have not gone through the introduction, not the methodology, not the references, but abstract, definitely people uh, read more frequently and uh, they decide the quality of the paper, they decide the, what methodologies we use, apart from other strategies. Other strategies could be, like control lab, people say that, okay, method, so let me see whether which method is used. So people use generally in PDFs and Word file uh, that, okay, whether, because you have no time, because time is precious, I think we all know, in all profession, not in the research writing, in all profession, time is precious because you have given the perfect time to do a task. That is the, like, I have been given the charge to complete the entire thing with quality knowledge, with everything convincing, uh, reading, writing material to provide to the participant in this one and a half hour only, right? So I have to make the justice with this, uh, you know, maybe like 40 minutes here and 30 minutes there like this and some do some chit chat and discussion. So that's why abstract is a very important part of this. So please note down, it is an interesting part, most frequently used by the people and one of the best part of the paper means your article, your research paper. What to include? That is the major query. You must be having some questions in your mind that, okay, what is this include? What should include? Whether the introduction part, whether the title or something else. So we need to understand the reason for of writing. So what is the importance of research that need to be covered in a one or two line? Why would a reader be interested in the larger work that I've already commented yesterday also? So problem from me, because it has the connection with the, with the abstract. Problem is what problem does this work attempt to solve? What is the scope? what methodology you are using. Because abstract is a very small and best section where you can, you know, sell your, I mean, see, you can attract, sell your product. Sale means your, you can, uh, you can uh, be a part of winning, you know, research paper in, in future, right? So sale means you can invite people to read means road. Um, you can just go for just like road show, you know, people go and demonstrate their product. So abstract is at that place and that includes one line about the topic, then some methodology, then any spatial analysis you have done, highlight in the abstract. That is the place actually. Okay, this, this paper deals in so and so, does experiment on that machine, that, you know, analysis, that, you know, some geographical location, maybe, you know, you decide. You know, you are the best expert of your, my job is to just to prioritize the things in a, in a, in a, in a, in a framework. Right, so that framework I'm just trying to share with you. If you're knowing all these things, I think it's a repetition. It's a recap for you. So please have a patient for listening and contribute also. You can write also, you can help my participants to respond in your way. That is also, you have the liberty. Let's understand. So the abstract should be divided in these four categories. Guys. Interesting, right? One is that when, another is what, the other one is why and how. So abstract is a place where abstract decides and contains the entire information. So we start from the when it is suggested to write an abstract when the rough draft of the research paper is completed. So generally people uh, write in paper first, then write the abstract. That is the analogy that is required actually. But these days what is happening? If you are an expert researcher, means you have something you need not to write, you can manage with writing something, 
you can able also write to an abstract and submit in the abstract. Like generally I do. I, I have, you know, my paper is not ready with me and some conference has come, some general asked me, okay, may, uh, so I have the vision and something, you know, based on my expertise based over a period of time I have gained. So I, I can write, you know, somewhat, not as a perfect, because I will get the another chance to, uh, because this is indicative, I will get the chance to improve later on also. So it is suggested to write an abstract when the rough draft of the research paper is complete. So it is well said. You do in this way, you will never uh, come under the trap of what you are including, what you should not include, right? The other one is what is abstract is in summary of a research paper generally, yes? Because it contains some idea, but do not write summary. Don't, don't you know, uh, misunderstand or misunderstood about this concept that summary is equal to sir, you said subtract. So summary in a local term means in, you just understand everything you have to consolidate and you marketize your product means your, your research paper. But do not write these words in research, right? Abstract is abstract. Why? The other one, third, third point is why. Abstract is written to get a brief understanding about the complete research paper. Training purposes we use whole, but not as a research, okay? Because here I'm not doing any research, so I can use the whole. But if you are talking in a research paper, I'm just giving you maybe in a next FDP, we can plan on English only. Which kind, which kind of words we should use, what kind of action works we should use. I will try to, I'm working on these areas also, right? So it is not a every man's cup of tea, but yes, we slowly, slowly, we will engage and, uh, you know, scale up our, you know, understanding, scale up our language issues. Uh, we can write well. The more you write, the more gain you will get, okay? So maybe in next class, maybe in next FDP, maybe so we can, we can plan to discuss these things also. Because this is not the session of English. So please excuse me, guys, right? So the other point is how abstract is written either in structured or unstructured format as far as the descriptive and informative, you know, abstracts are concerned. So this presentation will also give you how abstract is written either in structured or unstructured. That is also a different story to, to, to work upon, to, to, to comment on it, right? To, to write on that, to think that way, isn't it? So that is the idea behind. So when, what, why, how? That is linking to the one, one small module, which is known as the abstract. I hope you have understood. If you have any query, you can ask me at later stage at the end of the you know, session. What is an abstract? Now come to the directly, what is an abstract? Abstract is a short summary as I will be have already understood. Self-contained powerful mechanism, uh, a small draft module in the form of summary of an article, paper, or a thesis. Generally, you know, whenever many people are doing PhD, whenever the examiners are required to examine certain thesis, so your university invites that abstract of the thesis because they are not sending the in first attempt to the thesis. They will send the abstract so that the other examiner can have idea about your research, whether it is false in their interest or not. If they is interest, if they are free, definitely they will accept it, isn't it? If otherwise not. <clears throat> this is one case. Same thing happened with the papers also. These days, you know, pre-abstract uh, invitations are coming by the most reputed journals because now uh, people have understood that there is no uh, uh, no easy, you know, game and there is no fun that to get the entire paper in one go. Because if your paper is not uh, uh, not falling into their issue, not coming, so th those decisions can they can be taken very early. Because by the time you complete your paper, then you submit, then the, they will, uh, uh, you know, respond. They will, say, means editor will send to the editor, means reviewers, sub-editors also, or co-editors also for the, for the decision on your manuscript. It will take time. So these days, you know, what is happening, guys, you can cross-check with your, uh, you know, generals, whatever respected generals you are looking forward. And tomorrow we have the session also on the generals. So, or do not miss tomorrow's session. That is going to be the another experience, a exciting experience to see that what kind of journals we have, what kind of person. So, because now I'm making the background of all these things. If I will show those things first, then you must have these things. And what is this? What is that? Then curiosity comes, right? So that is this. So I hope you have understood it. So it's a short, crisp, self-contained, powerful summary of an article, paper, or a thesis. Length should be between 150 to 250 words. 
again this is also a debatable issue because every journal has their own requirement sometime abstract these days i i will show you tomorrow sometime these abstracts are also uh, bound by the characters not the words characters please understand 300 characters are written there so only your abstract should be in that frame so again you have to rework do not come to me sir you told in the uh, fdp that i should write the 250 words i have written that it may change also you have to increase the abstract you are, you can decrease the abstract length because most of the journals they are very very much choosy about the characters not the words characters okay so that is this words if it is there you can go with that okay layout usually one single paragraph is required with a small regular font size generally the font size we generally use like 12 times new roman and 10 times new roman arial is also the another second popular font used in the research so these are the two even these we generally ask the i generally ask in the phd examination this kind of question so that i i want to show that whether the a scholar has done uh, genuinely that work what kind of books they have referred anything like i generally you know Uh, ask the question from 360 degree point of view so that i the one picture is in front of me okay yes this scholar has done significant work sometime you know scholars move here and there uh, they sometime they could not speak also so that is a different story position position is usually at the beginning generally i will be discussed and started our discussion of this uh, fourth session right so it is the first beginning of the paper generally you see the abstract part so but it can also appear elsewhere also example in the book of abstract or online maybe you will find again it is you know after the title you will get the abstract <clears throat> it is not like that a paper is first and then the abstract is there then only you have the uh, like biography of the authors then you only get them but not the abstract right so that is it is a, a simple I, i'm sure you you must be knowing this right a good abstract should be concise or yet dense it is also a debatable issue that you need to decide again the answer is it the decision will go based on the journal in which you are submitting your paper so again you have to rework on the abstract it is not like that because first you have to make the research after that you are writing the abstract and after writing the abstract now the paper is done you have done review and everything by the peer group or by yourself or by some professional then you are submitting to the online online once you reach to the uh, you know there then you find that okay you have written 250 words but they are only looking for 150 words so again you have to either two options are available you rest of the uh, means words you have to delete means hundred of the words you have to delete or you have to include again it is a choice so i have seen that even i have done many changes at the last moment uh, when we are submitting and we have to not many people you know what they do they they delete the important line of the abstract so you have to be very much cautious while looking at it it is not like that okay deleted the last 100 words and job done no guys that particular line those words may be very much strong and sound to attract the uh, you know editor's decision and the reviewer's decision to select your manuscript isn't it so you have to be z word so that's why mentioning grief work is necessary so it is not a fixed one but yes do not exceed 120 words 150 words 250 words it varies from context to context so if your study extend on replicates previous work cite in the abstract a little bit maybe one line short line lead sentence must be there like maximum be you know informative lead sentence means you just give a very you know high punch line high punch line is the message is fantastic you can say just like a master stroke i'm just taking the example of cricket you know master stroke last ball six runs are required and the player hit the ball and six run made like that so it's a master stroke you know so that type of situation so lead sentence must be maximally informative so that you can catch the attention otherwise uh, lot much space is available but these are the places actually since morning we are discussing title abstract literature. these are the places which attracts the attention of the editor co editors and the reviewers so because your first manuscript goes to these people 
then once they will pass and examine everything work well then it will be published then the sky is the limit then the uh, reader like me and you we are there we are downloading this we are taking the printouts and uh, we can i mean we can enhance our knowledge means this could be okay a very good then piece of information isn't it so that is the idea do not waste space by repeating the title many people they do actually i have seen uh, many you know manuscript uh, means they have written very smartly and again they are repeating this thing so repetition of any section in the paper is prohibited please note down this uh, uh, you know one uh, strategy or you can say a sustainable strategy please do not repeat any single line in any section of the paper. maybe the abstract maybe the literature maybe the introduction maybe the title maybe the conclusion maybe in the limitations of the study do not use that that message is already conveyed you write something else to write something new so do not waste this space abstract by repeating the title this is dealing with generally people they do not by intention but by by chance okay so please do not uh, miss uh, interpret my uh, observations but do not waste space means many people they waste the one line because here we are uh, you know struggling for the space words character as we discussed so and if the space is allocated again you are uh, using as a filler you know you are using as a filler filler is like uh, you are adding uh, one uh, one line just to uh, make uh, make uh, beautified according to you it may be beautiful but no, nobody is demanding so please stop this habit if you are doing so right the other point is uh, what are the most important four or five concepts finding implication that you need to cover or you are in, intended to cover in the abstract that you write you write most significant concept let's i have already given the example some special methodology you are using okay somebody has done with some other software you have used the some other different software but additional exercises maybe you have done and use spss 28 recently launched by ibm 28 previous work was done so there may be a good improvement in the results because these companies are also working on algorithms i generally uh, give fdps on spss advanced thing even uh, ibm uh, you know uh, research team directly connected with me so i'm getting the updates directly means those things which are not available on the websites free i will show you tomorrow okay whenever the our schedule is like that i'll show you use digits for all the numbers except those at the so this is a very important you know exercise and you please note down the space you need to work uh, important things you need to discuss like finding implication in a very smart way only one line and here the role comes of your smartness here the role comes of your uh, a deep understanding of research because i know that most of the people they are worried most worried even they are crying yesterday professor uh sham sundar ji and uh, honorable vice chancellor was mentioning that uh, people are crying literally he was coming there and i have consoled my scholar to not to do because sometimes rejections happened you know many papers you know uh, rejected of mine also but i am just continuing as i told you i am never generated this feeling okay you know uh, my life is lost like this i um, please do not feel deprived you know rejections are always good for this one of our paper is there it uh, it got rejected uh, two times but third time it was accepted by the same journal only because we worked we improved so you would consider these things because many people they write also like editors many people here means idea is editors they they write categorically in your uh, email that i am rejected because the abstract is not uh, you know very much fruitful according to the audience of my journal and this is not under the scope of my journal so please take it seriously also it is not like that they are just making uh, you know fun of it so i hope you have understood so is concise yet dense is required it is concise space but dense means strong as i have uh, given already the tip that it should be thought provoking master quote kind of you know line job done guys you 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 can means your job done means after this you will not change that line after that you will not change that strip whatever the case may be come to the most fundamental qualities of a good abstract that is this it should be written in single paragraph no extra line breaks are required no indentations should be given this is the first thumb rule guys no one will tell you in the classes no one i do not know if someone told you it is good i appreciate that 
but i have seen i have interviewed personally people face to face they told me no no sir this was not done in my class i have attended fully i was a 9 point cgpa scorer uh, and uh, i got the highest fellowship in the country for my research but no one told me whether it should be no line breaks like this so scholars i met with these people actually in iits in i and and some other central university private university colleges those those who whoever they are doing and aspiring as a research scholar right written in the first person plural form we so you just give a you know idea we performed we conducted i am giving some word you can note down also we conducted we highlighted we have cross examined these research use those things so that is a good quality means we means as a team so that message goes to the editor that okay they have done some significant work some maybe two three people are uh, have done this this work which is in front of them so written in the first person plural form we do not write i have seen many manuscript i i i i like this so don't do that even sometime i also recommend in my uh, programs training program do not use we also simply write so i will give you the tip also simply write instead of we you write present paper present paper highlighted so and so so like this that blank whatever your your punch line is or whatever your master stroke line is job done so you are also coming out from this we but suppose you have the habit or it is inculcated over a period of you know experience of working you may be having experience of 20 30 year so sometime these things will come as the way you write as the way you speak as the way you write again in the research paper okay so this is this is one observation which i thought to share with you written in the past tense yes this is must don't write in uh, future tense it written in the past tense because that work is already over guys isn't it yes or no this is a trick i have seen many manuscript they write i will do this i will do analysis of 5000 people in the country so this is this line is a part of this so what the notion is going what the message going to the editor means they will do it means it is half cooked material it is half cooked paper means you yourself not looking seriously since yesterday we are talking about the seriousness of the research through various these sections right so written in the past tense means the job done work done to work done okay focus is or summarizing results focus on summarizing results abstracts generally mostly contains preferred good quality abstract when you are summarizing result that your results are different from some other result even you can give one or two citations also in the abstract ki like this is the work xyz done 2019 here a special case being highlighted in this research and present research talks about so and so or whatever the your context and components are there. i hope you have a feeling i'm trying to give you as much as i can in the best way in uh, in this uh, during the paucity of time right so that is this limited background information to the essentials the other point is no references or citations here is it written but i am giving you you can add one or two citation these days some papers Uh, editors are allowing to to ensure that line that uh, master stroke line which i which i have emphasized on otherwise in most of the general cases no references or citation should be given in the abstract an abstract must stand alone that is their majority of cases 90% of the abstracts are there but these days few journals few editors they have started the culture and they ask that please uh, add some you know support to cite some recent study in reference to make a strong argument because these days papers are coming from theoretical backgrounds too and in the morning i have already discussed and emphasized that your title should be linked with the theoretical background right so that's why but in most of the cases no references or citation should be given in the abstract because the space is also limited and so many things are there but in certain cases we came to know that uh, one citation is allowed in the last section or last line of the abstract so length is usually again the 250 words balance not minimum not maximum always check submissions requirement before the specific limit so again i would so it is a caution guys it is a caution for you to go 
which generally you are working at least you have some rough idea i'm not saying that you just make this okay that general is a god that kind of feeling should not come that general is not a god there there may be many gods in this world okay but who which god will give you the blessings <laughs> that you need to decide okay so don't come in the first of only this general and you are dying kind of situation created you are not talking in the family member or you are in different world you know different world means negative world you are thinking too much introvert please do not do that guys i am here to save your time because i care you the most though i do not know you i have never met you but i have the special feeling for you that because slowly slowly in this way in this framework people are wasting too much time too much energy too much money and though the product is also not coming so that is also purpose of research these are the purposes of the abstract research where you talks about the article overview so generally this abstract provide the overview of an article readers may read nothing else only this abstract first generally this also you know proved by the surveys provides context for those who do read the articles used by the journals to assign the reviewers also because abstract generally assign abstract generally uh, editor send to the reviewer okay this paper has been received the title of the paper is this abstract is this they are not sending the full paper even i am also the editor i never send the complete paper directly to the reviewers i can do that also it's very easy just you have to uh, uh, check check the boxes on the software uh, and then the paper will go so many many you know filters are there uh, in the dashboard of the of the you know journals used by abstracting and information services to index and retrieve the articles so generally the purpose of the abstract is to get the information uh, from the so these are the guys purposes for which why we need abstract okay these are the plus point of the abstract because you may have the some questions sir without abstract can't be survive can't my research be publishable yes it can be publishable but these benefits you will not get these benefits the area will not get means area in which you are contributing right so that is the point to go for the abstract you know whatever things are there na cut and short in the research that is required actually that is essential that is mandatory little bit changes you can make people are doing it but not the significant change like you you are totally replacing the abstract and you are taking and bringing the abstract content in the introduction no it is not the place because we have the place dedicated for this abstract is also used by translation services for foreign readers maybe uh, uh, you know uh, suppose you have published some paper and your paper is uh, i'm just giving you one scenario please uh, listen carefully suppose your paper is uh, published in very lead journal and uh, it is uh, means you are getting the hits of reading like reads you are getting more from spain i'm just giving you the some you know uh, you know this assumption spain but they are not interested to read properly your english paper they need some translation services so definitely uh, spanish language they want the conversion so they are the <coughs> they are they are the excuse me they they will uh, they will call the translation services and your abstract will be sent to these people and uh, if they are ready to uh, convert the english to spanish definitely so what is going first the abstract is going first okay so in that scenario the abstract is going first if the services translators are ready to convert in their regional or modern languages or for their re uh, readers base definitely so what is the first point of contact that is abstract once they are ready to do and if they like the most for their readers definitely the entire paper will be translated that is a second stage so in this way so these are the purposes of the abstract to make a meaningful impact in the readers it also helps the readers to decide whether to read the article or not i think we have already understood and we know this fact as well right so is this important to me that you decide you ask these things from you okay guys so uh, i think it is uh, it is really important for you to understand this provides reminders for readers after they have read the article it also provides the reminders for readers after they have read the article because you can remember at least uh, these some lines or abstract which you are you can't remember 
I am not saying that you remember all the entire paper. Even I can't remember. I, I remember only the title, some authors and some um, abstract. Okay, in which abstract? Okay, published so and so. Because it will uh, it will come in your habit once you are do uh, practice more. Uh, you know reviews like this. But so abstract is also helping to remember some important points because you being a professor, you should remember and you bring these things in your class to excite your class atmosphere. So through abstract only, if you are guiding, you know, your student, maybe MBA, BA, BBA or engineering. So you, why don't you use these things, abstract kind of thing to pass on this information to your student, isn't it? It makes interesting. They also understand. So motivation will come to the student. I generally do this way. I generally, you know, take some, uh, you know, abstract and some paper, you know, some, uh, I will crop these things, not the full, like uh, I will just take a snapshot in my slide and uh, making for the discussion to my PhD class, to my, you know, BTEC students also. Uh, day before yesterday, I, because this semester, I'm also teaching BTEC students a course related to management. So I'm exciting them and they are enjoying, even they have shared some feedback also. Sir, we want to collaborate with you. We want to learn more, means some excitation will come, isn't it? So, and definitely your student will come in your online class as well as your offline class also. You start preparing and working on this type. So it provides reminders for readers after they have read the article. So it will remind you, okay, it will remind you, okay, I can use this content to my class. Okay, this class is there. So please change the pedagogy also from the pedagogy angle also. Your job is to uh, include the audience with you, give the information, new information as much as you can, and with a, with a slow pace. Don't bombard with the information. Please work on the attitude more. If you are very humble, you are very strategic, you are very, you know, composed and calm, then it is okay. Then you, you maybe uh, means come into the category of good faculties. Otherwise, it is very difficult. So abstract will help you because your student may not be interested for full paper, isn't it? So abstract is the only thing, a title maybe they will not get anything. So abstract is the only thing, okay. This paper has come guys, and it has been published recently. I, I was going through this paper. It contains a very good analysis. I would recommend to go there, you can download it like this, isn't it? So second point is very significant. It has a connection with your classroom experience also. So a lot much benefit and you, you use this, <coughs> then definitely you will see and you will appreciate this enjoyment of the class with the student. Then the student will say, okay, what happened? You know, why teacher is, you know, excited, isn't it? Because I have personally interviewed these students. They said, no, sir, that class was very boring even. That was not excited. So, you, have, you know, you have to bring the excitement in the class. That is there. Many students, you know, because it is our prime duty as a, as a faculty, as a human being, as a good citizen of the country, to give our student as much as information, irrespective of uh, these boundaries, okay, these are the students of that university, this university, and blah, blah, blah. Please don't come and work in the silos, work in the environment like this. So that is the strongest purpose. Even personally, I have used this thing to create the spark in the class. So you can also benefit. So I just thought I'm happy to share with you like all this. Third point is direct reader's attention to highlights of that. And if you see abstract is good, you are attracting the attention, definitely they will cite you also. I mean, they will cite you. Means you can't take the, and you should not take the forceful citation. Don't beg, as I already told you, do not beg for anything, guys, in the life. Just earn it. So earning is the best strategy as a person. Maybe you have thousands of connections. Maybe you have something this, but what is your? You can just command on the own whatever you have, isn't it? That makes exciting, that boosts you. It is just like a bon, bon vita, you know, bon, your in, internal bon vita. So you have to work for internal bon vita more rather than many dishes are available in front of you on the plate or a platter. Right? So that is this. So in general, the abstract reflects on the professionalism and integrity of the work also. Uh, so it combines the entire professionalism, it, integrity. It creates, at least it gives the best satisfaction, right, to your so these are the, you see, a beautiful things for the abstract. You never thought of it because you have not been coached that way. So let me go to the other section of the. I, I hope you guys are with me. If not, please uh, drop in the chat window. I'm happy to see an answer and I will change my pedagogy also if you're getting bored. But I believe that you are not getting bored. You are feeling charged. That is my 
or my experience and feeling. So let's move ahead. Characteristics of the abstract. It should be accurate, coherent, and readable. Please note down in your notebook direct, directory or whatever. Accurate characteristics, coherent, involving many ideas, involving methodology, involving the context. You are touching a very important and needy ideas in your area, in their area of research and readable. It should be readable also. It should be clear, crisp, readable, means the message should be clear to the readers. Use simple English. Don't use jargons, don't use abbreviation, don't use uh, any anecdote or maybe anything like that. So it should be readable. So this is the one of the most brightest characteristics of the abstract. Second point, it should be concise, specific, and selective also. I'm sure if you are well-versed with the English, you can make the differentiation between concise, specific, select. If not, maybe all these terminologies may be equal to each other for you, but you decide. Third point is self-contained and standard. Since your abstract has no, uh, I should say, what is the correct word? It means have no comparison with any of the abstract. Even by the lead, means number one researcher in the world in your You are unique. Your abstract is unique. You just feel proud on that. You just live life for that abstract. You live life for that. Even though you are not getting a single search. That feeling must be there. Then the feeling must be derived actually across this year. For what we are doing the research? We are just creating the footprints in the society. We are just uh, creating the contribution. Even uh, those people, those who got the Noral uh, Nobel Awards, they also said that they only published very few papers. But that paper was significant. That paper was a lifetime contribution. And based on this, even in, these interviews are available on the uh, YouTube. You can just go ahead. They never said that, okay, your paper will be in A star, your paper will be in that star. This is the, actually, this is upcoming because uh, the culture of education is changing. People are going from the uh, teacher-centric approach to the student learning approach. It is happening just because of, because the world is demanding. People are sens uh, sensitizing the issues through web media, through social media, like, so that's why it is happening. And there is the other role is also coming like uh, accreditation bodies. They also want, they want to compare, they want to uh, check your, you know, CLOs, PLOs, you know, course tackling outcomes. Program. I, even I generally provide, um, uh, you know, uh, training to the Institute for IQC, uh, you know, so many times, you know, Pune universities, many other universities also invited me for different parts. So I've understood, I've seen these areas like, you know, how these, uh, you know, numbers play an important role. A good paper, a faculty has achieved, that number will go and university will get one number in that, in that particular matrix of the, of the calculation. So this is happening, right? But if it is not, uh, then you can enjoy your uh, reading and writing and uh, write research paper at an abstract free from any pressure. That is also. Good. So characteristics of the abstract. So please note this line. It should be self-contained. That is standard. Complete and internally consistent, no references being used, no table and figure. You have also seen, I have also seen many people, they use a small table picture, figure one, it is, they mentioned figure one A in the abstract, please do not go. It is a part of the main text, main body of the research. That is No or few abbreviations must be defined, no. Must be defined, if you are using any abbreviation, I've already given in the morning talk that you define category in the bracket, right? The other point is conclusion should be based on the data information presented within the within, within the abstract as far as this is, is concerned. Let me just, excuse me, is. Actually, I've integrated, so I'm sorry guys, uh, my apologies uh, because you know, I generally use and mostly use the technology for for integrating the devices. Let me, you know, switch off this. The sound is coming actually. It was not expected. It is happening first time. Yeah, thank you. Because I've integrated my mobile with this laptop. So background noise is coming. So my apologies, guys, for this. So I'm sure I think it is uh, uh, clear and well said. Conclusion should be based on the data and presented within the abstract, yes. Now come to the, what abstracts are not at? Let's understand one, one you know, 
one idea, one perspective. Not substitute for the article and should not be cited as a reference. Right? That is also that what abstracts are not. Not a summary of the entire article should present main findings because they are not same. Do not contain enough information for a critical evaluation of the research. Is it also true, right? Because uh, you have uh, different dedicated spaces, dedicated place, dedicated indexes to enroll that information. So do not contain enough information for a critical evaluation of the research and only you are giving and return a lengthy, you know, abstract. So please avoid those things, right? Not fully peer reviewed, up to 60% are never followed by a complete. <coughs> Excuse me. Content of an abstract. What should be the content in the abstract? Define purpose and scope of the study in the form of question. This I've already uh, discussed. It should be in the form of interesting research question and link in with one mic. You start your paragraph of abstract. Even I will show you uh, something is coming because um, how much time? Let me see the time because I have to make this. Okay. So almost up. We are about to, you know, complete one hour, you know, sometimes no time because of positive, it is very difficult because I can't run and rush just like that, okay? Anyway, I will try. So describe materials and methods used for that. So that material I've already given the idea. Okay, some this apparatus, this methodology I've used or something. So we use this, this particular methodology is a part of this experimental work. So it is a part of abstract. Summary the results in one line again and state the conclusion and their input. So what is the best strategy, guys? You write one line about the scope. That is the main research question, but do not repeat the title. Please make these thumb rules while you are writing the abstract. Don't interchange the matter. Don't overlap the matter. Don't copy and paste the matter from one place to the other. Just write in direct way, and I'll show you when template is coming. Please wait and uh, keep patience as far as this, this idea is coming. Content of the abstract is introduction. Describe the material in the form of material and methods. Summarize the result in the form of res results, maybe in one line, and state the conclusion and their implication discussion, maybe two, three lines. <coughs> so content of abstract divide or these four categories, please note down. Introduction is why, please write. Material and methods, how? And results are what and discussion is so what. So what is coming two types. Results, so discussion is always the extension of results. I'm sure you, you know it, this. If, if you know it well, that's okay. Discussion is always the uh, extension of the results in all the research paper across the world. Whether maybe the, uh, whether maybe the book, whether maybe the literature review, whether maybe the empirical papers, qualitative paper, even the case studies also, right? In case studies also, the discussion is more about a particular. So that is so what? So why, how, what, and so on. So uh, I'm, I'm sure you are, you are well versed. So guys, this is the template, which I was talking about. This is the template. So here you can see, this is the content of the abstract, okay? So the growing economic resemblance of spouse has contributed to rising inequality by increasing the number of couples in which there are two high or two low earnings partners. So this is one, one research related. So you can see the first sentence introduces the topic under the study that is related to the economic resemblance of spouses. So this, this could be giving some notion and hint about the title, right? So this sentence also implies the question underlying this research is to be like, what are the various causes, isn't it? So some curiosity is being developed. And the interrelationship among those variables, maybe like various causes, uh, means what is the spouse they do, if the people are working, how they are related and making the partnership and contribution in the economic resemblance, and why this problem is emerging like this. So this is first, first or two line is done, right guys? The green line says about the previous research. So you, you have written and used this word like dominant explanation for this trend, it is indirect way. You see in these three, three words, job done. Dominant explanation for this trend. Trend means somebody, this trend is set by someone. So it is an indirect way, previous research. Okay, is increased assortative method. Previous research, then categorically you are writing. Previous research has primarily relied on the cross-sectional data 
and thus has been able to distinguish changes in the assortative matting from the changes in the division of the spouse and paid labor, a potentially key mechanism given the dramatic rise in wife's labor supply. So that is one thing. So what, some of the things are in quote. So what, what, what this shows? This shows the next two sentences explain the previous research as demonstrated by pointing out the limitation in the method that we are using in the previous study. So it isn't rational, basically. It is rational, means why you are doing it. So come to the previous one, how? Why and how and what and so Okay, so this shows the how. It means rational, why are you doing this? Research? So this is a brief line about the, <coughs> about the context of the research. Third part talks about the data, what is the analytics and what is the method you are dealing with, means what is that? So special. So here you can see here, we, we use data from the panel study of income dynamics, that is PSID, to decompose the increase in the correlation between spouse's earnings and its contribution to income. So if you see and make the differentiator as we discussed before, I, I think it is clear. So means what kind of methods you are using, so people will look at this thing, okay, this methodology, uh, okay, this line, okay, that is perfect line where some message is coming out, strong message is coming out, okay? So the data research and analytic method used in this new study, so it is a new study. So the message is there just like a welcoming message. And the uh, last line or the last paragraph here, you can see contrary to what has often been assumed and the rise of economic homonomy is that in contribution to inequality and large attributable of the changes and divisions. And then the first last line is concluded with the way our finding indicate that, so our word is used, not we. Our finding indicate that the rise of the economic homogamy it cannot be explained by the hypothesis centers on meeting and matching opportunities. And they show where in the process inequalities is generated and where it is not. Page number 985, some citation is also based. Okay. So here you can see the major findings from an implication and significance of the studies also. So you can say it is a small swarupa, it is a small summary of the entire research. So if people want to not to read and no time <coughs> to, <coughs> to read the, sorry, I, excuse me guys, because of my some, a throat problem because I'm continuously speaking uh, in these uh, you know, sessions, but anyway, we'll manage. So if you see in this way, you can decide, right? So everything is covered or not? Your topic is covered, your research question is covered, your previous some research you have just hinted and given some hint. You have also covered the rationale also for this new research so that it is in the form of invitation. And third part, it concerns about the analytics method, which method you have used, in what way you are depicting, in what way you are writing, that is the idea. And the last section, it talks about and covers about the findings and implication and significance of this study. So I'm sure if you see this, so this is the operation. Actually, these are the operations, you know, uh, just like this, why, how, what, and so on, like this, isn't it? So types of abstract, descriptive abstract. I'm not going into the detail, guys, because I have to cover this. Indicative abstract review, I will show you just important part I will cover. up. So descriptive abstract, indicative abstract, review articles, informative abstract are also there. That is based on the result papers. Uh, result paper means your some mechanical papers, maybe some quantitative papers. A structured abstract, presentation, meeting, poster, and abstracts like this. So we'll cover this journey in next five minutes, guys. So descriptive, just look at, just make some differentiation. Indicate the scope of finding, contain the substantive information. Emphasize the report itself, not it contains, called PAP abstract. Generally, people call it PAP abstract, descriptive abstract. The scope of the findings they talk about. So that is the idea behind. In conclusion, generally, these abstracts are uh, like this example, this report described. They directly start from this report describes a brief of this, this couple's group therapy format like this. Some behavior. So this is not that descriptive abstract. It is not the way uh, uh, that I've shown you that, uh, you know, that abstract in the four, four uh, you know, sections. It is also example. Just look at a one paragraph, fully paragraph. I'm just showing you so that you can see. Behavioral wellness has become the recent focus of this. So this is also abstract. Right? These are known as descriptive abstracts. Indicative abstracts based on the objectives, state objective of the review, give some a summary of the data sources, specify some areas, criteria of selected studies, guidelines maybe. So this is the abstract of review articles, majorly. So it will, these are known as indicative abstracts. 
here the you know people are you know making some results of videos methods like conclusions indicative abstracts are of again in the in a, in a in a big broader way objective that to review the literature relating to the effectiveness of education strategies designed to change the physician performance and healthcare outcomes like data sources which are the sources data sources you have used for your research medline eric ntis research and development rdrb so generally these are the popular websites for or popular you know organization for the medical education those who provide so it is a study from 1975 to 1992 right so you can see and here you can see the data so say we manually so here also they use we manually search the journals and bibliographies of other reviewers to call the opinions of them recognize it so this is an indicative abstract because it gives you some indication about medline about the type of organization what type of data you are using objective is also clear and end up with the bibliography journals and searching like this and your this is an abstract is complete indicative abstract so study selection data extraction in the same way indicative abstract okay data synthesis conclusion also indicative abstract informative abstract again state briefly the content of the paper follow the sequence of the article like intro introduction means intro method result discussion also possibly background like conclusion implication or also adding it <coughs> excuse me so this is also adding into the discussion include the species or population they design this like uh, in the morning i have mentioned about the independent and independent variables okay represent each section of the paper by at least one sentence in the abstract so that is also there so this is known as informative common general errors are there inconsistency between the text and the abstract because generally people are not bifurcated and this will only you will learn once you practice reporting data not present in the paper 30% both 15% if if you are so these type of you know <clears throat> common errors like overlapping of the text overlapping of the sentences because your one mind is writing isn't it if you are collaborating then three minds are writing if five, five people are means five minds are writing and contribute that's a different story how much you are writing means i'm not going to the length and time but the contribution made by the five people or should be the made by the five people right to fix the most common error like double check every time single piece of the data is there abstract again to in the main body of the article so how to fix these most common errors based on the double checking you go with the first iteration you can go to the second third iteration once you are sure about it then you only submit if you blindly submit in the one go probably you will get the desk rejection and i'm sure you you have done it and you have received the desk rejection also and then you come under the panic situation you how much time and money energy everything you have invested other errors could be uh, no question or question stated vaguely because you have not asked the question the way it is being asked or it is required to be asked <clears throat> right so implication is stated instead of answer too long too much detail then you are providing too much detail and all these things so i do not go with this informative abstract should be very clear crisp and calm and concise research paper and case report generally have the informative abstracts so in research paper we call it as a study design experimental subject method research and interpretation but in case paper or case reports generally talks about the patent and the unusual features of the case so in this way you know a patient you know some case report is required so in and that you will find informative abstract in the case report in the area of medical science because they are more highly you know uh, experimental based research they are doing doctor patients relationship and many minute things are there so biomedical sciences biotechnology i can name some area even those, those people they use the case report informative abstracts right like this way you can see this is the informative abstract so you can see here they have written b1 to determine B two we prospectively studied C V correlated like this so we use this is informative so A B one B two B like this so they they bifurcate they are abstract so these are known as informative like this R is this R is this R is this some value some so R is nothing but a, a relationship you know R and R is quite generally we have studied in the class of uh, you know statistics they categorically written we found that. because these research are based on strong research uh, experiment based on machines on sophisticated equipments right informative abstract you can see some of the 
they are using composition, chemical composition, CO, SV, CO, like this. I'm just showing you so that you can make the difference. So the writing continuity should be right. Repeat key, key terms, consistent order you follow, consistent point of view in the question and answer you should follow in writing as far as the abstract is concerned. So you follow the parallel form also, verb uh, tenses in the English literature, same as in the paper, present tense for the question and answer intro and introduction and past tense for your uh, methods and results. Past tense for your methods and results as far as this comes, writing style. So writing process, I think read paper carefully, mark keywords, list of these material added to condense, define like this. The structured abstracts are also known as more informative abstracts. The purpose is to help the readers quickly judge the findings of the study, guide the authors into bad summaries, aid reviewers, facilitate electronic searches like Medline or PubMed or maybe other. Includes headings, uh, may use incomplete sentences following general requirements like this. So this is a structured abstract, guys. Just have a look. Background, method, Result, conclusion, then objective, then design and participants, then independent variable, then dependent variable you are categorically written, then result and conclusions, right? So a structured abstract contains objective design, animal procedure, whatever. Suppose you are doing some research on this disorder, obsessive disorder for these dogs and cats like this. So result, conclusion, clinical relevance, so presentation and meeting abstract just must be comprehensive. This is something else apart from me. I'm just giving you and showing these details, right? Maybe published in the like published in the conference proceeding, provide opportunities to feedback and form like people decide whether to read your poster in the first three seconds, what to do, include lots of illustration tables and graphs. In that cases, you have to showcase these tables and graph and illustrate. Key words to a minimum. Do not write maximum words in the abstract, sorry, in the abstract of the poster. Yes in the abstract of the post. Consider as a billboard notice and like this. Poster abstract like use the font size, like type size is important, 96 point, 28, 36, 28, 12 points like this. You choose depending upon your suitability. <coughs> so this is a guys, uh, a, now my last slide, I think maybe second last slide. So definition of this descriptive abstract, we have already understood background purpose, particular interest focus of the paper, informative abstract background, aim, purpose, method, finding, conclusion. So there is not significant difference, but the difference in the style and the content as far as we, we discuss. So guys, this is the point here you can see, I discussed the major point of the projects like this. So remember, these are the takeaways, make the abstract the best part of the article, make sure it is standalone and double check every piece of the paper. So with these words guys, I'm done with the, uh, the first presentation of the, uh, you know, as far as, uh, you know, abstract writing is concerned. I hope you had a, I will take up the queries guys. Please give me a few seconds. Let me complete this in 10 minutes. Then I will take up your queries quickly. So please cooperate with me guys, because everything is for you guys. So let's continue with this. Keep, keep holding your queries in the chat window. I'm happy to answer, okay? So how to write a literature review? Though I have given some uh, basic idea yesterday also in the some session, but now it is a fully dedicated class for this. So today the aim is to get you think about the purpose of a literature review, get you think to about what is your literature review will look like. Critical thinking yesterday, I've already commented, critical thinking, reading, writing, planning, and structuring option, and it should be interactive also. So that is a today's aim. So you can see what is a literature review? Uh, when think about a literature review is we need to think about what is for and what is the purpose of literature. Review. So in generally peers in the group discuss what you think about a literature review is for, jot down your ideas and paper, then you start working on literature. Review. Because by, at times, you know, many people come to me, sir, uh, we do not get the correct idea to start with our literature review. So just you uh, uh, go with this strategy, you divide yourself in peers, means maybe your collaborators, then you, uh, you know, give five, 10 papers to someone, five, 10 papers to someone, five, 10 papers to other party. So three people, so how many papers you are covering? 30 research papers. So 10 you can write, 10 other people write, 10 other, the, the third person can write, and you can just jot down the ideas, go for the brainstorming session, and you can start working on the research paper. So what is a literature review for? Establishes the terms and context, presents a survey of preceding literature on the topic, it explores the way that the others have solved a similar question problem. It also helps you to outline the relationship of these texts to each other, right? It also further helps you to evaluate the 
<clears throat> quality and relevance of the literature. What is the relevance? What is the quality? What kind of relationship are you using? Whether you are going in the indirect way, it is in active voice, it is in passive voice, that depends. <clears throat> Establishes the gap in or inadequacies. How else will you justify your own contributions? Right? So these are some of the things demonstrate your scholarly regard. Yesterday I have commented and given sufficient idea on regard there. Because these days many people are writing, but rigor is missing. Isn't it? Yes or no? So this is very much important. That's why I'm so how else can I have faith in your conclusion? So it is very difficult to convince the other party, isn't it? It is a very difficult job for me to convince all of you, those who are on the like, including me, 262 people are there over the call. So isn't it? So how to convince people? So that's why I'm showing you these problems. I'm discussing with you these problems. I'm touching these problems. I'm sensitizing and you know, uh, give some sen sensitization signal and notion to you through this dialogue. I, I hope you admit all this thing or you're having some feeling like this. Literature review, it's in critical analysis, literature, existing literature review research and highlight both strength and weakness for this. The way you read, the way you write, then you start literature review. So I will show you some of the things. Gap is also there, opportunity to think will be there. You identify the strength and weaknesses also. You will be able to think and about what has not to be done and what is need to be done because these are the two different aspects. What you have to do, what you have to understand, what you have to enroll, that you need to decide, that you need to discuss. More than it's just a chapter, literature review is a process as well as an outcome of your studies, right? So once you have a study, you, you are well-versed with your study, you are fair, you are feeling confident, probably you, you can do and go ahead with it. So that's why it is more than just a chapter. It's a detailed one. So literature review is an outcome of the APS in the final draft of your thesis, just like, you know, so generally in, uh, in, a, in a general sense, though it is not a hard and fast rule, maybe 30, uh, 30 research papers, you know, literature reviews available in one research thesis like this or in this way. People are supporting. Literature review is nothing but a support. It may be argument may be related to the... <clears throat> Uh, against as well as the in the support also that you decide. Sometimes we have seen many theses, you know, which is going in go and go. It's changing, you know, against favor, against favor like this. That is also. So literature review as a process, critical engagement about thinking, reading and writing. If you are only reading, not writing, again, it is a poor combination. If you are only reading and thinking only, but not writing, again, it is a worst and poor combination. But if you are thinking best, reading sufficiently, writing well, then it is a good combination. You can, means you can say just like, you know, uh, traffic light you go, you know, what is yellow, uh, red and green says, that is like this. So green is writing, reading is what? Can anyone <laughs> type in the chat window? Reading is yellow or writing is yellow. Thinking is red, reading is yellow and writing is green. So it should be in the same sequence. So thinking means stop, a danger sign, red sign. I hope you will remember these examples from my real life. So I made something so that my participant will never forget in life. So thinking means red sign, caution. Thinking more, more thing is required in research. If you want to be a rigor, if you want to be, uh, you are establishing as a scholar, even today I've commented one, uh, one email reply also to, to some of the participant through mail. Okay, so this is like this. So it will go in this way. It's critical thinking as a student, you just uh, think this way, undergraduate level, backing up your points with the appropriate authoritative sources, master level, understanding about this aspect as far as this is concerned, PhD level demonstrate that you have created new knowledge. So this, these are the dimension. Do PhD person should not go in the master, master person should not go in the UG level. A PhD person should go to professional level, but not in the back. That is also another study, critical thinking. You act like a student, think like a student. Allow your mind, you know, this mind is powerful than these computers. Lot of, this is a major Google, this is a major Bing, Bing search. You think, allow your mind, because you never allowed, that's why the idea. And if you are too much thinking, critical thinking, negatively thinking, then too many bad ideas would come into picture. So every space is defined as per the qualification and show this. Go to the higher side, but not go to the <coughs> back side. 
because certainly ug people will come in masters master people will come in phd and phd people become a professionals like academic peer group they become the reviewer they become the editor you know so it is a good responsibility god has given me this responsibility because maybe you know in good generals you may be the editor you may be the you know so god has given me the opportunity to be a part of your professional journey through these activities so i always you know uh, cherish these memories and these emails these you know partnership i really enjoy guys i'm not uh, you know giving any any lecture even in my classroom with compulsion i believe that okay these guys you know uh, you know i'm lucky one to have these people great people great mind you know? so this is the feeling actually it comes and, and that is the you know a, you know a confidence sign that okay so this is really important and very good exercise if you do with your students and i think i've already done with this you know uh, bloom's taxonomy for cognitive domain who has given this uh, <coughs> create evaluate analyze apply for this uh, bloom's taxonomy is also understanding the knowing knowledge because i i have full confidence that you can write but i am giving you those things which you never thought and you have not connected with your literature because literature you required thinking actually what this xyz paper has written what i am concluding what what conclusions i am drawing what what is the take away from those papers linking to my research that's why thinking is important i hope you can better connect so don't understand don't misunderstand you understand the only meaning point right so read critically think about these questions what were the research aims two paper book is the research aim achieved if so how did they do it <clears throat> are there any problems with their methodology what is the strong or weak research model how will this research help in my own research what can you take from it what need to be avoided what need to not to be avoided what are the doing trends so maybe some some Uh, some guideline i'm sharing with you read critically not read just like this newspaper it is not a newspaper okay, that okay some incident happened so many people were killed and political people came just to ask for the begging for the vote this type of this is not research actually reading a article is a with a different style as i told you hey, you i i hope you remember this whenever you read a article you just take the print out and uh, sit on the coffee table or on a sit table make a coffee or glass then you understand you are away from the world if you want to read we just take a feeling you know i am sitting in the big office of mine and there is no one i am enjoying by myself with all of you i am taking the session with you isn't it so that is right distracted from this uh, uh, metaphor world if you want to be really enjoying this reading critically meaning is this if you connect better if you are connecting that's great that you are reading. okay so these are the some uh, guidelines why why does i think i've already done <clears throat> critical thinking literature we understanding research of its own term testing its viability understand the research in relation to your other arguments we people have given uh, and do acknowledge them also in the form of giving the citation because if you are uh, writing something okay uh, like uh, kapoor kapoor et al 2018 highlighted sensitized some word like that. so it is in the past sense eh? then you write the relation of that particular thing one one literature review is written and one literature review paragraph means one one paper i am talking about that should be sensibly the paragraph should be of 6 uh, to 7 lines means regular lines without any space it is not like the very somewhere you have seen the thesis somewhere some literature review of one paper is written very maximum somewhere people are writing very less somewhere it is maximum sometimes it is like it is not a sinusoidal wave form <laughs> okay it is not like that going coming going going like this 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 or it is not a like a jalebi jalebi you know jalebi is a uh, sweet dish so you know that jalebi wala make like jalebi put it into the you know sugar and then the sweetness will come so here you have to be very consistent so please remember this example literature review writing is not jalebi because we have to write in a meaningful way means balanced paragraph the beauty of the balanced paragraph is and while i am now giving you know this insight i am have a feeling okay okay no. because i have done it you know balanced whenever thesis comes to i generally like you know some because people have made one full chapter one page is full of there is no full stop means there is no break in the line this should not this is not a literature view a balanced one equal gave equal weightage to every paper right significantly 
that is this okay so starting to think about your own literature review in this way main idea should be covered debates you can cover ideas change over a period of time select those ideas mention the year also problems you can say i'm just giving you as a consolidate because the time is quite less to complete what are you going to do differently the difference should also come it is not like that you go to show the ganga and copy and paste what is happening i also know you also so i never <clears throat> encourage any participant even i know or i do not know to go to show the ganga and download the thesis chapter take the you know literature review otherwise you will be in uh, again in the trap of plagiarism maybe today or maybe tomorrow and if anything by chance will come again the people will punish you your reputation will be killed so this this i'm going and talking about uh, maybe on day after tomorrow maybe on the second last morning session on these issues okay so it's a complete capsule actually i prepared for for all of you if you give me the more time maybe in future then we can also repeat this as a advanced form then we will not talk about all this then practice we more right so keep layers and sources first stage of the literature review ask yourself what is the research what is the theory related to your topic what are the key resources like books articles on your topic maybe my topic right who are the main theorists and researchers in your area have you taken the last one or least one that you decide how is the topic problem is investigated over a period of time so these are the things right where to start it's a headache you can see that from the picture a, a lady is you know shouting right in the picture you can have a feeling that okay, you don't need to read everything you can't right you don't need to read every text line by line word by word you don't need to read every word again and again you just pick and choose select the idea link with your dialogue link with your research dialogue or the research question then you start working on it no one ask you to go read by read and learn by line and and there is no person in this world who can take your test just like formal examination isn't it so where to start this is a confusing word i hope you have many questions related to this and i have already answered this main ideas of debates once you have the relevant sources you can begin to think with what about the ideas debates methodologies are you in field ask yourself about the same way topic problem define are there any trends and pattern this you should use this i am giving you some idea trends very much good and useful for as a you know beautifying your research paper and uh, readers or uh, editors love to accept it and you will get the chance trends patterns across the literature so that you have to do in depth understanding download papers related to recent trends 15 you know as i have already given you some idea last 15 years last 5 years stick with that you give your commitment to yourself otherwise literature review is a is a exercise which is never ending process i always say that. so better to be go for the trend use proper methodology assumptions think more think more than read then write so these writing a literature review have to pass through these three stages critical thinking reading a text related to your link and your observation <coughs> then you have to write and writing should be unique writing should not be like you just copy and paste otherwise your paper will be not be accepted in this way organize your material identify the debate is scholar x with scholar y share your manuscript to the people then you ask them okay please read my literature review find out the grammatical mistakes find out you know some text i hope i am not uh, repeated if repeated please quote this i will change this so please be flexible enough and organize something like this so disagree with this maybe you agree with your school of thoughts maybe you build up the conclusion of the ideas confirm the findings of particular agenda whatever agenda you are coming has reservation about many people have the reservation also not to come because all are scholars the scholar y is also a scholar scholar x is also a scholar so it is the it is the discussion between so literature review will tell us the disagreement also isn't it even you can ask them some maybe people you find in favor some maybe people you find in disfavor also maybe against right that you so a scholar so organize your material identify a debate as far as the literature review is concerned because literature review helps x has said this y has said it so you may be y you may be x isn't it so that is right 
I think I've already covered this critical thinking part. So what's your story, guys? You write. So in this way, this is the chart for you. How to write a literature review, formulate a problem, search, <clears throat> and define topic. So your connection with this arrow is going in this way, right? So process of review, construction of review. Then research tips, then reference work, and endnote, whatever you would like to use, you can use it. Let's, so thinking about your literature review, what is your topic? Key people in your field, I think I've already covered. Map your story. Yes, map your story. Means whatever you have thought, what is your story? Now you have to map your story in this way, then your literature review of one paper. In this way, your contribution will be recorded. Share your story with the person next to you. Tell them the story of your literature review. You request them, you can give samosa party, chai party and all whatever, so that they can come and lead and read your, otherwise they will not come to you. Then don't come to me. If you come to me, I'm happy to share this uh, uh, party to you, you know? So that is not an issue like this. So getting started planning the review in this way. So planning is required to make and go for the structured of your literature review and a story you will help you in this way. It's like this. Mind mapping software generally is required, so, but sometimes you know, people are not doing it. This is a guy as a chart, self-esteem and obesity about this. So this is one problem. So you can see question one, question two, question three, question. So everywhere the question is, everywhere it is this. So your literature review also cover these aspects also. Suppose this could be your problem, then you are covering some point related to the discussion in the literature. This is again the key questions related to do it. Means okay, what is the introduction? What is the self-esteem? What is the self-esteem children, children in summary? So in this way, your literature review will come to picture. Then uh, writing the review, start with an overview, decide an organizing principle like theme strengths and all. I think I've already covered this part. Uh, and uh, tips for clear writing. Clear writing means your introduction, overview of the topic, aim, review, and structure, clear paragraph structure, make sure the subject, your sentence is clear. Clear means uh, understandable to the readers, understandable to the editors, okay? Don't assume knowledge. Don't assume anything, predict, okay, something which is not possible on this earth, right? So don't assume knowledge. So these are the tips for clear writing. Make sure key terminologies and difficult ideas that you are, are try, trying to you know, explain thoroughly and going with this. Be, um, be objective, be balanced, use signposts to orient the readers. So that is the idea behind as far as this comes. Your critical voice signposting. I think well, I'm already done with this paragraph flow, grammatical thinking in this way. <coughs> Illustrating trends, this trends I, I was talking about. You can write like this, research into thesis titles and emphasize the use of this. Smith 1999, James 2002 and Webster 2007. So in this way, this is example. So avoid listing the like structure by illustrating trends in the pet. Wherever it is required, you use it, don't overuse it. So these are the illustrating trends synthesizing the literature in this way. But avoid list like structure by illustrating trends again and again. That is the worst part. Okay. So this is one thing, two type of citation, integral and not integral. I'm not going into the too much depth. So here you can see. Here you can see Lils 2001. So first it is coming in the starting of the uh, paragraph. I abuse that both of tutors shouldn't like, suppose you have some conversation with it. But here you can see we are directly starting with the sentence and then making the, so this is known as non-integral. This is known as integral. <coughs> so your author's name appears in this sentence. So in this way, so this is for those people. I was getting some queries related to the citations or how we use the citation yesterday. So that's why I put it this idea clearly at a working. So citations and writer voice, whose voice is dominant, that is also there. So you write in this way. Okay, this is the style, variation is there, variation is there. You can see 99, 99, 99, like this. So editing and proofreading, yes, it is required by some professional, by yourself. You can be a good practitioner, you can be a good uh, editor, you may be, so it depends upon, so there is nothing new. So an evolving literature view is a, a picture like this. <clears throat> Okay, so it is not like that in one day, two day, maybe one month, even a month, uh, years are required to write a literature review, in-depth literature review. What information do you need together? All these things, I think we have already covered. Learning from different models also from your field that you can go use prestigious journalists. And guys, this, these are the some, you know, further readings related to doing literature review. You will find some book also on 1998, it was published by Hart, doing a literature review, published by Sage published from London, like this. 
so these are guys for the readings as far as this is concerned these are like some writing tips so and with these words guys thank you very much for your uh, patient full listening i hope you had a good journey with this with me covering the you know literature review as well as the abstract part so let me take your questions one by one then we will proceed so i'm stopping the sharing screen option here yeah. so yes guys uh, are you guys ready i hope you had a good journey or not feeling bored i think the people have given the questions or not i'm i'm not sure about this let me see you can drop your feedback also to me so email id you must be having my email id or you can ask the organizers also i am again typing my email id here so i love to see your uh, emails in the form of feedback and share your experience of these two days mdp uh, sorry to interrupt you sir uh, yeah. i i made one feedback form yeah could we share this yeah no feedback form is there because there is a, that is the feedback actually that is in the form of attendance but yeah. maybe but uh, i want the email feedback actually because i will check their uh, you know uh, learning style and writing style okay because i am going to take the test also so that feedback may be uh, you know useful for that purpose okay anyway okay yeah ji thank you so i think uh, i i could not see uh, any uh, you know uh, question so far but if you have any specific questions guys uh, uh, you are welcome or shall we close this so i hope you had some good journey kuch knowledge mila hoga aapko hai na uh dear participant please give the attendance because many of you are missing ha ji ganesh ji ji sir thank you and attendance are compulsory everyone has to uh, fill yes. their attendance and uh, Professor Leela, can you repost that Google form in a chat box so that those who missed they can see right now? So, guys, I request all of you. I want to see. I don't mind, you know, to receive many like two hundred emails. Okay, please share your views, suggestion, so that I can incorporate those things in uh, the remaining sessions. So it is a win-win situation for you and for me as well, isn't it? Correct. It's very important now for a uh, being a speaker. We need the feedback. and your feedback helps us to make uh, more uh, can say that yes it improves well. always yeah it improve also and improve for uh, these people because what my audience want the purpose yes 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 it. so that's why somebody is saying that uh, link is not working it is closed so please open the link edwin uh, please open the link definitely the session you took means uh, uh really it was very informative and uh, i believe that they must have learned something and uh, being a speaker and uh, i should say that the instructor at least if 10% people will adopt that learning then we should say that the entire session was the successful and <laughs> then hopefully one seven was it definitely in in a true sense uh, that will be successful if they will use and implement these things correct 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 <coughs> just to sake of only certificate we should not no, conduct uh, or attend this kind no, of the program the certificates is not going to help them only knowledge will help them correct so correct we will ask these certificates now and then because it's a it's a it's a flow of like river take the knowledge go take the knowledge like this and implement then move ahead yes, i think yes. rahul sharma ji saying something uh not to use animation in ppt as others is uh, there is a lag we listen you but can't i also it. got many uh, many uh, queries that ki will you some uh, will you share your ppts with the student uh, this participant i will share the some few handouts with them because i will not share the full uh, because over okay. over burden knowledge is also again a harmful strategy correct correct because correct they, they will get confusion sir in this ppt is because i know the connection and wiring Isn't it? Okay, okay. okay. I will provide uh, once I will done this. I will provide the videos. I will provide uh, you know useful things better than this. This uh, is normal class, actually. 
in that way you made the uh, 26 january more usable for the uh, this participants as well as uh, us also this is the first time i think most of uh, participants are uh, attending classes on 26 january na uh, online mode and... <laughs> yes that that was the plan but anyway so many people are saying we missed yesterday session don't worry guys i will provide the sir, video please give me sir please sir, please provide video video ah, sir definitely definitely sir definitely are asking for my contact number let me show and don't send me the private messages guys here in the chat window because others can also benefit and settings will also not change so i hope you you have some good learning please share your experience i am waiting for your experience and feedback in my email id and i am happy to reply also each and every in due course of time okay and recordings will be provided to you so please give me some time to rectify all these things and then we will go and make attendance possible and i will going to take your one exam also online exam on the last day last session uh, for 10 to 15 minutes for which i am working so each and every session is very much important then based on this then i will announce the awards also like who is the winner of the test in this fdp so we'll do something uh, new experiences for you guys i planned many things okay So it's just nice awesome. idea professor rudra yeah it was first second third award of this fdp and i request organizer to give you the additional certificate of as a winner uh, of first and second because you are the highest scorer in the exam of this fdp then uh, professor rudra i would like to request to you please uh, 
post this thing in the both the groups ha na fdp so, right, uh, then right, uh, whatsapp groups then right, because right, right now 150 yeah then it's yeah, good right. idea and every every participate should come forward and participate in this way sure 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 yes okay nice idea sir so thank I, you uh, th- uh, we, we, we will take a leave guys uh, still my another class is pending okay about to start yes, yes. So i need a break of 15 minutes or so okay guys so thank you very much guys and wish you good luck uh have patience happy researching and we'll meet you in the morning at uh, 11 as per the schedule 11:30 so we can meet 11:30 11:15 11:15 yes because some people want to see the uh, their you know feedback on their whatever the uh, assignment they have submitted to okay thank okay. you good night good night to everyone thank you to professor leela and anurag and uh, dr atul those who coordinated this session and uh, for their time and learning thank you one and all okay bye bye take care right, all of you will meet tomorrow okay. at 11:15 thank you bye bye take care